Buddy, uh, I did not do Fashion Friday yesterday because yesterday was my grandmother's funeral. So I'm pretty sure that's a good reason to not do a Fashion Friday. But I wanted to give you guys a video because I got coffee. I want to talk. Let's talk. So I'm going to talk to you about something that I've touched on with a lot of my virtual clients. And I feel like if it's happening with them, it's happening with everybody else. You know the drill. If it's happening to one person, we've all dealt with it. So I'm going to talk to you guys about the great quarter life clothing crisis. Try saying that five times fast. So when I refer to the great quarter life clothing crisis, what I'm talking about is women, if you are watching, hit the thumbs up when if, if you agree with this. So I'm 28. I will be 29 in September. So I'm in the late 20s category. But I don't work in an office building. I don't have children. Um, I don't have like any of the normal mid to late 20s uh, situations going on. But I have been presented with two options when it comes to clothing. Hoochie, Forever 21, bandage dresses, crop tops. Uh, TNA out all over the place or matronly. So I could go to Ann Taylor and buy some separates or I could go to H&M and buy something with my whole cervix out. And the thing is, I fall somewhere in the middle. And I think that a lot of people actually fall in the middle of this category as opposed to hoochie or matronly. So I think that a lot of women deal with this on a regular basis and the fashion industry does not actually cater to us, which is really funny because millennial women, especially ones that are childless, we have more money to spend than ever before and we're kind of getting left out of the equation. So a lot of my clients that come to me for shopping and personal style, they just have no idea what to actually purchase because they don't know where to find it. They go into the mall and no one caters to them. So what I have kind of put together is a <laughs> Candace, my whole cervix out. It's true. If you go and you see like the stuff that is on the racks, you're like, who is actually wearing this? I don't understand. So I fall into that middle category. So what we've had to do is we've had to shop smaller brands. Like we're having to go and do our research and find stuff that's going to one last because we have money. We want to invest it. We don't want to spend it on something that's going to fall apart. And two, we got to know where to find this crap. So I have kind of devised a little bit of a system and I want you guys to think about a few things when you're shopping. Men have this too, but I feel like with men, the spectrum is you either get dad, so khaki cargo pants, um, you know, the New Balance sneakers, the unironic dad shoes, or you get like, there's a few other options that fall in the middle. So it's like dad, you have like affliction, t-shirt wearing guy, for some reason, that guy always wears them with hiking shoes. I don't understand why. And then you have, like, my daddy's a lawyer. So there's very few options that actually run the gamut. But men kind of get off easier because I just had a client today. Uh, I did personal shopping for him. He falls under that age category. And he was in and out in an hour with a whole wardrobe. And everything looks cool and it's easy. But what about the women? What about us? What do we do when we don't want to look like we're a baby prostitute, but we don't want to look like... Jane Fonda and nine to five. I love Jane Fonda. I love nine to five, but it's not a good look. So what do we do when we need to fall in the middle? The first thing is we need to go back to a few videos back when I talked about finding your style icons. So when we talk about finding your style icons, I want you to think about people who has, who have aged gracefully. I want you to think about people whose style is timeless. And I want you to think about someone who is older or the same age that you are. So all of my style icons are dead. No, I'm just kidding. A lot of them are, but uh, a lot of my style icons are still relevant today. The pieces are very classic. Um, ben says, successful business plan, let's ignore clients, don't know how this happened. Well, most designers design for their ideal client, their niche client. And when women started entering the workforce, they either were homemakers or they worked in the uh, you know, they worked in the office. It's kind of that Madonna horse syndrome. We're still seeing it now just played out in the fashion industry. So for me, what I've started doing is I've started putting together pieces of 
I've been putting my dream wardrobe together piece by piece, slowly but surely. Because what I'm doing now is I'm shopping for pieces that will last 10 years, not 10 months. So the number one piece of clothing that I wear on a regular basis, it's boring, but it is a vintage Dior blazer. It's a gray blazer. It goes with everything. It fits me immaculately. I can put it on with jeans. I can put it on with a skirt. I can put it on with trousers. I can put it on with anything. And it works. And it's classic. It's not going to ever go out of style. And what most people do is they see these pieces that look matronly or they look older and they only think of them in one way. There is um, an expression that was coined during the OG Queer Eye and it was deconstructed blazer. And I do that look all the time. So it's a blazer and a casual top and it just makes it look a little nicer or a leather jacket thrown on over top of it like this one. But these pieces that I'm getting, I'm spending more money buying less pieces, but now when I open up my closet, I'm going to have these pieces for the rest of my life. I come from a long line of women who once they hit a certain age and their body stopped changing, they stayed the same and they shop the same way. So I, you know, my grandmother passed away uh, this week and I went to her funeral yesterday but what I noticed about her closet I was over at her house um, the day before she passed away and I was looking through her closet and she had a ton of blazers I love a good power blazer she had dress pants and she had tops and the way that everything was laid out was so when she she was a real estate agent so when she would get ready for the day it'd be top pants jacket go and that's kind of how I've started to adapt in my own weird personal way to my version of the power suit and in doing that, I'm taking classic things that have a little bit of a younger twist to them. So I'm taking a classic jacket, but it's in one of my signature colors. I'm taking the gray Dior blazer and I'm putting a Rolling Stones shirt underneath it. I am taking really great tailored wide leg pants and I'm getting them in dark denim instead of in a trouser. I am getting a button down, but I'm wearing it on button to here and it looks more like Jane Birkin than going to the mall. You like, you know, your grandmother's button down. You need to start looking for classic pieces. There's, they're called staple pieces for a reason. They're called foundation for a reason. You need to have those, but then you need to figure out what's your version of a neutral and style it your own way. My neutrals are purple and mustard yellow. These two things that I'm wearing, I wear all the time. They go with everything. It's a scarf and a leather jacket. They're classic. They're never going to go out of style, but it's in my own way. And I think that what we need to do as young women is we need to start walking into those stores. A lot of women my age still will not go into an Ann Taylor and they won't go into, you know, like anything that doesn't scream young in 20s. And it's so funny. So you guys know my husband is a musician and he is this cute, he's like this big, teeny tiny rocker boy. And one of his favorite shirts to steal of mine came from Ann Taylor. And it's because I unbutton it down to here, I tuck it into some high-waisted pants, and I call it a day. And most people wouldn't think outside of the box to go for the older stores but to style it younger. And as I get older and I don't want to have that shirt unbuttoned to my belly button, I'm going to be able to button it up and put a scarf with it, and it's going to age with me. I think that we need to invest in things that are going to age with us. Friendships, real estate, clothing pieces. Those three things need to be something you invest in, in your mid to late 20s that will continue to grow and develop as you get older. But if you are in your mid to late 20s and you are struggling because you're not matronly and you're not hoochie, don't worry. There are clothes out there for you and you just have to learn how to look at things a little differently. So maybe you do walk into the old lady store. Maybe you find a really cute top that you can wear with your ripped up jeans. Just maybe. I don't know. Does anybody else have this problem? Or is everyone just liking the phrase bedazzled cervix? Because that might be my new band name. I might start a band just to call it bedazzled cervix. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that was my 10 minute coffee chat hanging out with you. This is um, iced coffee with almond milk and CBD in it from Rev. I am really excited because it's February. Valentine's Day is coming up, which is my favorite holiday. And over in my style squad, I'm doing this self-love series where I'm talking about how to show self-love with what you put on your body and how they correlate. So I've been working on those videos today. I'm so stoked for next week where I post a second one. It's not too late to join us. I do a challenge every single month 
It's a weekly challenge where everyone has, check, has to check in with each other and it's a good time. But thank you guys for letting me have yesterday off. It was not the best day ever, but I'm really glad that I got to um, spend some time with my family celebrating my grandmother and I'm excited to get back to work like I did today. Um, I was about to say thanks for watching Fashion Friday, but it is Style Saturday. You heard it here first. I love you guys. Remember, you wear it well. And...